Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. Uh, I said I was going to update my UDM Pro to the 1.9.3 firmware uh, last night, and I did. Overall, it went pretty well. Uh, I was not able to do it through the UI on the UDM Pro, so I went ahead and did the SSH method to upgrade the firmware. And it was relatively painless for you know the upgrade process. The site came back up, all my access points and things worked fine. From a networking perspective, as far as I can tell, I'm all good. On the protect side, there were a couple of issues. And by a couple of issues, I mean a couple of my cameras didn't come back online successfully. And I was running 1.8.6, and between that and 1.9.3, the protect version changed. And with that probably came a firmware update. I didn't monitor it that closely because there, the, the difference between the two protect instances were very small. But what happened is that you can see there's two cameras that just didn't come back online. Uh, bouncing them didn't help. Just removing power for a little while didn't help. One of them was just caught in a boot loop and it was pretty frustrating. And what I ended up doing to get them both online was just to turn the power, the PoE off for about 15 minutes, let them totally flush out and then turn it back on again and then they both came back online no problem. It's a weird thing that happens. I've ha it's not the first time I've seen this with a firmware update but it, it is super annoying. Also annoying is that both of the Unify apps that I use in my phone, Unify Protect and Unify Network, neither of them could find or connect to the controller after the update. Protect would just sit and spin on the um, the start the launch screen and Unify Network would not be able to see the controllers. It's weird because these aren't the only controllers that I have either and it just couldn't connect to any of the controllers. So that that was something that just really strange. I, I have no idea what was going on with, with either of those. To fix both of them, I went into both apps on the phone and then just cleared storage which basically resets the app. Logged in, did my two-factor authentication and then they just came back and I really have no idea what, what could have caused that. They were both working fine pre-update, post-update, nothing. So maybe it was one of those things that uh, got changed, fixed, whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. But that's how I sorted it out. Otherwise, things seem to be right. Looking at the, the new controller, there's a lot of stuff that's different and changed. I'm going to have to take some time to figure it out. There's a few things which are pretty cool. Like I like the topology thing when it works. But I, I, I'm just going to need some time to, to relearn how it works. So happy upgrading, everyone. It went pretty smooth for me. Hopefully it goes pretty smooth for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Thanks for watching. Cheers.